Hello and welcome to Let's Talk SEO. So Google has made some interesting announcements and the biggest one is which is has got to do with uh, video indexing. And that's a big one because a lot of us have videos on our website and Google has said that unless the videos are, unless the video on the page is a primary objective of that page or the primary focus of that page, your video is not gonna get indexed or it's not gonna show when people do a video search. And that it could mean, that could be a deal breaker for uh, some people. Some people like to have their videos indexed. In the past, Google would show a thumbnail of the video, but Google has said if it, moving forward, it will not show a thumbnail of the video. Instead, it will show the video itself. And at the end of the day, what that means is if it's, the video is not above the fold on your page, at least that's what I can make out judging by what Google has announced, it's not gonna be indexed, it's not gonna show in, in video search. Now, if you have a YouTube channel, like I have a YouTube channel, and sometimes I would embed my videos in my blog posts, usually it'll be somewhere in the middle or at the bottom of the post, if I don't change that, Google will not index my video. Now, because my videos are also on YouTube, people can search and find it in video search, and if I have it on my page, it's, it's, it's gonna probably show up twice or Google will decide. Probably show YouTube, the YouTube version more or show the YouTube version over uh, my website because our website doesn't have the domain authority that YouTube has. And also there are a whole lot of other videos on YouTube that I've made. So that being said, if your videos are not on YouTube and you're not getting much traction on YouTube and your, the, your website is probably outdoing your YouTube channel because you have your website for far longer, Depending on, on the case, use case here, you're probably better off moving the video to the top of your page so that it gets in indexed. And also, what Google has said is that if you see these errors in Google Search Console, for instance, uh, your video is not indexed or the video is not within viewport or any of these issues, it usually means that Google is not gonna index your video because it's not in the prim primary for focus of the page. And so the simple fix here would be to move the video to the top of the page above the fold. And in doing so, you'll probably fix all of these issues because Google will then add a format. Then when someone clicks on the video and when they do a video search, they will be taken to your web page where the video starts playing. And so for the YouTube embed, it will take you to your take it to your page where people click on it and people can watch the YouTube embed that that video directly on your page. Uh, why exactly has Google made this change? I don't know what will be the long-term uh, effects of this. I have no idea. Other announcements that's related to uh, Google is the fact that it has uh, dropped the mobile usability report. And I don't think many people use it, but I used to look at the mobile usability report a lot in the past, but as of late, I have not looked at it a lot. I don't think it has been very useful as of late. They've also removed the mobile friendly test tool. And this is something I used, but now I can use some of the tools. Uh, I, I can just go to Lighthouse and run, run a, a, a scan there. Also the mobile friendly test API, again, something I, not, I did not use, but I imagine that they are SEO and they are developers that were using the API, the test API, but you know, that's, that's a major, major change for them. Uh, for me, this does not. This is not the end of the world. In fact, it's probably going to tidy up uh, Google Search Console a lot and makes us makes it easier for us to find what we're looking for. So by default, your web pages should, should be mobile friendly. If they're not mobile friendly, you know, then it's a problem. And since Google has said that they have now successfully indexed all websites on the internet and they have done what's called mobile first indexing and all pages have been indexed they no longer need this to be around and if you want to check if the website is mobile friendly there are other ways to do it also finally before i close the video is it's important to say here that whether it's video indexing whether it's uh, any other but even if you have a mno video on your page and some people have mno videos on their page some people use the platform such as rumble and they have a video from rumble on their page if you want that page to even rank, that's having a video does not mean that it will automatically rank in video search. Now, if your video is on YouTube, there's a higher probability that it will rank, but just having it on your page does not mean rank. I get a lot of questions from people that it, 
asking me if I put a video on my page, will it rank better? Will it rank higher? Will should be, Google show it a lot more? And the answer to that is no. Your page still needs to have authority. Your website still needs to have authority. That video also needs to be relevant to the search query that's been put in. Also, I usually like to add a transcript or a blog post below the video or near the video, or close to the video, so that people can read the transcript if they're watching the video. And you know, it's also good for people who are uh, differently able. So that's it for me. Uh, let me know how this change will affect your SEO. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.